we made it. Hi, everybody. Hey, we're back at uh, at Padre Island National Seashore. Uh, we were here last year at about this time, and it was so awesome that you know we want to come back. We're a little late though. It's busy. It is busy. There was like nobody here this time last year. Yeah. I think it's because spring break just started for not college spring break, but for the um, public schools in Texas. Yeah. So. Yeah, spring break. So it's going to be busy, but this is like the part that uh, you don't really need four wheel drive. You can bring your camper on here, stuff like that. But where we're going is miles down. Um, but like I said, we got here late, so we don't have the time that we would like to get as far down as we would like. I think we have a half hour. So the sun sets in a half hour. So we'll see how far we can get. But yeah, this early part is hopping. <laughs> Check it out. These guys are playing stickball up here. I think so. Oh, now he's humping the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm in four wheel high and I'm turning off traction control and stability control. Okay. miles six miles and things have thinned out there's there's no more trailers at least there hasn't been one for like a mile and there's a lot less people still gonna have the fishermen they're like the real fishermen dudes they just they just cruise the coast looking for a hot spot so they could be anywhere but yeah, things are going good. Six and a half miles in, no issues. The tide is going out right now. It's not quite low yet, but it's, uh, I think high tide was a couple hours ago. So, so we're good as far as that goes. So yeah, we might be setting up in the dark, but that'll be fine. We've got a lot of lights and stuff. Um, and then, I mean, I, I would rather set up in the dark than set up in the wind. Cause that's a challenge for sure um, and then um, there's still quite a few people definitely a lot more people than there was when we were here last year but that's okay we get down far enough and we'll we'll have some privacy um, seeing lots of dogs which is great and uh, yeah I'm in a big rut right now <laughs> it's like being on the Matterhorn <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna call it we're gonna call it right here um, Yeah, we're at 12 miles. I, I think I'm worried about going any further. And, you know, we don't want to, I don't want it to be too dark so that you can't see that there's like somebody camped out a few hundred yards down there or whatever. Right now you can't see anyone either behind us or in front of us. So we're gonna take this spot. And then if we feel like we want to move further south tomorrow, we can do that. Yeah, it's no big deal. What do you think, Carrie? Yep, I like it. It's a good spot. Let's do it. We're a little bit up because the dunes are right there. We're a little bit up. So I'm going to grab a shovel 
and dig a couple holes and then back the truck up so the tires on that side go into the holes so we're nice and level and then uh yeah then we'll start getting unpacked at a leisurely pace as i look over at carrie at a leisurely pace carrie all right let's do it done deal Look at this. So I just I just parked here, and if you look at my tracks, the tracks look like they're hours old. It's because of the wind. It's pretty windy right now. Check it out. Oh yeah. I can also feel the wind. I can feel the wind throwing sand in my face. Just these little tiny pieces of sand. Uh, so yeah, I dig that. I dug. I dig. I dug out a little bit on these two tires, and it worked fine. So we're, for the most part, we're level. Um, you know, you definitely don't want to be trying to sleep on uneven ground. That's not good. So yeah, I think this worked good. All right. So I thought I'd shoot this video real quick. Ooh, that's bright. Um, because we got the uh, we got the awning got the awning set up so we used that for the first time in our last video um, up at uh, Lake Mead and so we have a new addition so we got the walls for the awning so you can enclose the whole thing and uh, that's what it looks like we got it up let's go cool. we got this thing up and we have, well, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it in the morning when you can actually see what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, ooh, awesome. Fire alarm. <laughs> that's, that's also a new addition and it works. <laughs> yeah, we keep setting it off because we're cooking, uh, Carrie's cooking dinner in here, so. Uh, we're having ugly steaks and mashed potatoes. They're they're very easy to cook, unless they're not properly thawed, like ours are not. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be great. This one's pretty good, but this one is still kind of hard inside. I think our fridge is set to, um, too cold. But anyway, it's still gonna be good whenever it gets done. And some mashed potatoes. Yummy. Awesome. I'm surprised the fire alarm or the smoke alarm hasn't gone off again. But it will. So what we did last night was the walls for the awning, there's three of them. So we put one section up and then I got out there with the shovel and I just started piling sand on the outside of it to hold it down. And then we did each section. One of the walls broke through last night. It was just so windy that eventually it pulled itself out from the sand pile. So I went out there again and just loaded it up but this obviously gives us so much more room and it's much more relaxing 
we have the Starlink, the Starlink setup, and we really haven't even turned it on in almost a year um, because we really wanted it just to when we're on the road. But sometimes when you're on the road, you don't you don't want to have service. You know, you want to get away. Uh, but this time we decided to do it because we're headed all the way to New York, we're going to New York City again. And so we figured, ah, what the heck? This morning. I woke up and I watched the, the F1 race. It was the Saudi Arabia race. And it was perfect. Perfect. Something took a big chunk out of that shrimp. I caught a catfish before, but I didn't have the camera with me. I promise. It's kind of like the curse of the camera. When you have the camera, you don't catch anything. They're out there, so that's good. Oh. All right, so the first guy I got before it was bigger than this, but there's the little guy. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Can you believe this? It's not windy. It's not even breezy. <laughs> and, and we're packing up and we're out of here. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's beautiful out here this morning. Uh, gonna make some coffee. Priority number one. That's what I love about this place. Uh, it's just so nice to be able to just just hear the ocean all the time, and you know, especially when you're when you're laying down to go to go to sleep at night, get up in the morning, and you just hear that constantly. It is so awesome. Yeah, I got a new French press because the other one, fine. But, you know, we've gone through quite a few of those because they're glass. And so, ended up getting this insulated French press. And it holds 48 ounces. So that's enough, it's enough for like a lot of coffee. And it stays nice and warm, so. enough for more. Come back for seconds. Your coffee's ready, madame. Madame? Yes. Madame wife. <laughs> Cheers, yo. Cheers. Isn't it nice outside? It's perfect. And then this guy came driving down the beach. <laughs> yeah. Perfecto. So hey, you hear that every once in a while. He is a serious fisherman. What's he driving? 
used to drive in a big old truck, but man, he's going fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. I think that's it. That's it. We're going to continue our trip, or our, yeah, our trip to New York City. Not necessarily sure what route we're going to take. We're thinking we're going to end up staying south, going through Florida, and then going up the East Coast. But we'll uh, keep you updated. But for now, yeah, we're going to take advantage of this uh, wind not being here yet, because I'm sure it'll be windy eventually, and get this thing all torn down, packed up nicely, and hit the road. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you subscribe, then I'll be able to clean my glasses. I can't. If you don't subscribe, I can never clean my glasses. So. Adios.